Portsmouth police have arrested a man in a deadly triple shooting. 19 year old Torian Sexton is charged with first degree murder and malicious wounding in the death of 44 year old Danielle Akoya Lee. Two others were hurt in that shooting. It happened on Jefferson Street Sunday night. Police held what's called a reset walk today to call attention to the rising tide of gun violence in the city over the past three weeks. 11 shootings in that time. Many residents and business owners are on edge. The recent violence came up during tonight's city council meeting. The present council members voted to start a new task force. Attending your size, Daisha Parker has this story new tonight. If it's a problem in the city, you should go and try to do the best you can to make sure these problems get solved. 11 shootings alone in the month of October here in Portsmouth. Now the people of Portsmouth are calling on the city council to make a move in response to the crime in the area. So instead of y'all acting like everything cool, y'all need to work and do policies to make sure that that area is going to be secure and let these people know that before they send their kids out in this area, that y'all going to have it safe and secure. Residents were in outrage at Tuesday night's city council meeting. Businesses in Old Town are also sharing the same concerns about the safety to conduct their business in the area. Our businesses on the whole are becoming very discouraged with the amount of crime and the recent uptake uptick in this crime in our old town section especially which we are trying very hard to promote more businesses promote more tourism promote more families being out there in the streets kathy cullen says the old town business association would like to have something positive come out of a negative situation they are working on solutions to keep their businesses in portsmouth I know a lot of the restaurants and bar owners have suggested limiting their hours, maybe closing a little early until this problem can be addressed. Um, some of our local restaurants uh, that do have bars uh, do close a little earlier now because they're just not seeing the traffic because of this fear of what goes on after hours. The city council voted five to zero with two absent members to start a task force to help reduce crime. It's time for us to get the crime and gun violence task force moving. Uh, I uh, discussed with you that uh, uh, Councilman Tillage and I would like to work with the city manager as the, count, the council liaisons, the task force. Portsmouth Police Chief Stephen Jenkins took to the podium. So I did provide to you a uh, brief uh, on the uh, events of the uh, over the weekend. Uh, also brief uh, the Civic League on last Thursday about some of the issues that have been occurring. Uh, obviously, I stand here as angry as everybody else as, as, uh, to the things that are going on. I can assure you that as a police department, we're not uh, taking this uh, lightly at all. At the council meeting, residents were encouraged to attend the quarterly chiefs forum that's happening Wednesday night. For now, in Portsmouth, I'm Deja Parker, 10 on your side.